Welcome to how to set up port forwarding on your router by securacorp.com. Please connect to your router using your browser. Use the default IP address supplied with the router and the default username and password. You can find these details either in the manual or under the router you have purchased. Once you have connected to the router, the first thing you need to look for is the starting IP address. In this case, the starting IP address is 192.168.1.100 with a maximum number of users of 50. This means any IP address we assign an IP camera or DVR must be assigned a number between 192.168.1.100 and 192.168.1.150. Once you have established this, we can now set up port forwarding. In this example we are using a Linksys router. Here we would click the Applications and Gaming tab. If you are using a D-Link router, please look for the Virtual Services or Virtual Terminal tab and if you are using a Netgear router, look for the Services tab, set up port forwarding and apply the rules in the firewall services. Other routers will be similar to the Linksys router. Let's click on Applications and Gaming to set up port forwarding. Here you can see a number of port forwarding examples that have been preset for you. You can ignore these. We are now going to set up port forwarding for an IP camera and a DVR. First we select an IP camera name and then select a start port number and an end port number. Of most IP cameras and DVRs, the default port number is, on, is port 80. We suggest you change this to something else. We prefer to use port 8080. For each IP camera and DVR you assign a port number, each port number must be unique. You can leave the TCP protocol as it is, and we can now sign on an IP address between 192.168.1.1. 100 and 192.168.1 and 150. Please make sure you click enable and let's set up the DVR. Remember we have to assign a unique port number and we'll use a sequential port number. Leave the protocol as TCP and we'll assign a progressive IP address in this case 192.168.1.102 and then click enable once you have set up port forwarding for your IP cameras and DVR please make sure you save your settings there you go port forwarding has now been set up make sure the port numbers and the IP addresses are the same on your IP camera or DVR If you have an internet connection with a dynamic IP address, which is an IP address that changes all the time, you can set up a static name, which means you can use the same name all the time from a remote location to connect to your IP camera or DVR. Most routers have this function built in. The IP camera and the DVR also has this function built in. Look for the DDNS tab on any router you have you can select a service we prefer to use the service by dindns.com go to dindns.com and set up a host account there you can choose a name to apply to your dynamic IP address in our case it's cctv1.dvrdns.org enter your username and your password your IP address will automatically be entered here and uploaded to the dindns.org server. This means that whenever you want to connect to your cameras from a remote location, you can always use the fixed name. Your router, your IP camera or your DVR will update the server with your new IP address. So typing in this fixed name will always make sure you connect to your router, your IP camera or your DVR. Once you have entered your details, press connect and then make sure you save your settings
And that's all. We have now looked at port forwarding for an IP camera and a DVR. And we also looked at how to get around dynamic IP address issues by assigning a static host name. If you need any more information, please see the support page at www.securicorp.com. Thank you.